Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my healthy chicken, rice and plantain. If you would like to see how I make this really delicious version of this classic Nigerian meal, then just keep watching. This meal has been getting me through my night shifts this week and making them all the more bearable. Enjoy. And we're getting straight into it. So I've chopped up some red onions, one whole red onion and a bunch of spring onions and I'm just putting those inside a blender with some chopped tomatoes and a bit of water to help it mix well. Um, now I did this in two separate batches but um, you can just do one. I needed that because my blender is a little magic bullet so it's a bit small. But yeah, one can of chopped tomatoes with the onions. Then I'm going to add in another can to the pot, another can of chopped tomatoes to the pot. I'm also going to add in two um stock cubes so two stick chicken stock cubes i'm using nor you can use maggie um whatever brand you prefer uh so yeah two chicken stock cubes into there i'm not bothering to break them up because they're just going to dissolve in the water anyway um and then after that i'm going to carry on adding some more um ingredients so i'm going to grab my curry powder I'm just using medium curry powder, adding in a bit of that. I'm sorry that this is such a Nigerian recipe in terms of I'm saying some of this and some of that. Just adjust it to your own tastes. Um, and then I'm adding in my blended uh, mix of onions. If you don't want the purple tinge, just use uh, white onions instead. I just used what I had. Um, and then I'm also adding in some tomato puree, so a whole uh, tube of tomato puree. Also, this... Uh, quantity makes quite a lot of stew so it makes enough for two meal preps i had a lot left over which i'm storing to use again um so you can halve it if you wish then i'm going to grab my chicken and slice that up into um in in half because they were just very big pieces of chicken breast then i'm going to heat up my stew and at this point i'm also going to add in a few more flavorings so i'm adding in some thyme and then i'm also going to add in some garlic powder so i just heat them all up together and um, get my stew nice and hot so it's kind of simmering before i then go ahead and add in the chicken because i'm going to cook the chicken inside the stew now um the reason i cook the chicken inside the stew is to help it to really absorb all the flavors of the stew and to help it cook really nice and succulently so once I've added in the chicken, I'm going to leave it to cook for around about 30 minutes, 40 minutes until I feel the chicken is done. And I'm going to leave it on a nice hot simmer so you don't want to let the pot get too cool. So I'm just leaving it to simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes depending on when the chicken is done. Then I'm going to grab some super ripe plantain, so ripe that I couldn't even show you the skin because you would think I was actually gross as to how far I let it ripen. So I sliced them up. Um, nice and thick and chunky because I like them chunky then I put a sheet of baking paper onto a tray and I spray it with a bit of fry light to stop the plantain from sticking um, and then I lay it out now I would say lay it out in single file <laughs> I just threw the fry light then I would say lay it out in single file but um, you know rules were made to be broken so I kind of just piled mine all on top because it wouldn't fit and then I grabbed my fry light again and I just spritz it again to stop the plantain from drying out I literally almost never deep fry my plantain anymore because there's just no need. You still get some nice, juicy, soft plantains by cooking them in the oven for about 10 minutes instead. Um, so while my chicken is still cooking, I then wait for plantain to be done and I take it out. I like them, you know, just a little bit, a little bit charred around the edges. A little joke, I kind of forgot about them. But then when those are done, I start doing my rice. Now instead of rice, I'm using cauliflower rice. Um, I mean, it says cauliflower couscous on the pack but I feel like Tesco are wrong. Um, so I just spray a pan and then I grab my cauliflower rice and I pour that in um, and I cook two pots of those. I then add some salt and some pepper to flavour it and I cook it really well because you do not want to undercook this otherwise it has a funny taste to it. But if you cook it really well and you flavour it well, it will taste really good. And this is just a really great way of lowering your calorie intake while still eating kind of your favourite foods. It will taste different to start with. The cauliflower rice tastes very different to rice but when you put it with the stew and with the plantain, honestly, you could trick yourself into thinking you were still eating the traditional standard um, chicken, rice, plantain and stew. But this is so, so good, you guys. I've really enjoyed eating it. Please let me know if you try it um, and what you think of cauliflower rice because I know that some Nigerians might be like, eh, hey, that is an aboration, that is an abomination. But please try it before you judge it because it saves you so many calories and it does taste good, I promise. I'm not just out here suffering in silence. It do, I do really like it. Um, as long as you cook the cauliflower right, you increase your fibre, you decrease your calories and you get so many more vitamins 
vitamins so definitely give it a try thanks so much for watching you guys hope you've enjoyed it i'll see you in my next video love you bye